Hi, this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series, the Kingdom Living Pocket Study Guides, and the Bible Studies. And today, I just want to share with you sort of a pet peeve, I, you might want to say, is um, that people want to fist fight and argue with you and say that God wants you poor. And that is... That is such a lie that God wants you for. And I just wanted to go over a few scriptures about how God wants you to have abundance and prosper and have more than enough. First uh, King 4.27, it says, There was no lack in their supply. And First Kings 13.10, it says, Now King Solomon gave the Queen of Sheba all she desired, whatever she asked, besides what Solomon had given her, what Solomon had given her, according to the royal generosity. I love that word, royal generosity. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. And that's First Kings 13.10. And then First Kings 10.23 says, So King Solomon surpassed all the kings on the earth in riches and wisdom. I guess if you're going to keep your riches and gain more riches, you're going to have to have some wisdom. And then look at this one. This one's pretty cool. Uh, 1 Kings 29, 25. So the Lord, the Lord exalted Solomon exceedingly in the sight of all of Israel and bestowed on him such royal majesty as had not been on any king before him in all of Israel. Wow. And you know what? Some people try to say, well, it's just spiritually it's just spiritually uh -uh. <laughs> because they weren't born again so they could not receive anything spiritually they were not born again people it had to be physical and then go on to first Corinthians first Chronicles 1 11 12 and God said to Solomon because this was in thy heart, and thou hast not asked for riches, wealth, or honor, nor the life of thy enemy. Neither yet hast thou asked for long life, but hast asked for wisdom and knowledge for yourself, and for that you may judge a people over whom I made the king. Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee. And I, God, will give you riches and wealth and honor, such as no king has ever had before or after you. Right there. It shows that God is the one that gives it. And He wants you to prosper. He wants you to be rich. He wants you to have abundance so that you can give. And you can't outgive God. So you give and you get more and you give and you get more and you give and you get more. God wants you rich people. So get in the Word. Eat, breathe, and sleep the Word. Get in the Word and find out what the Word of God says about prosperity and riches. He wants you to have it. Learn the kingdom principles on how to get what is already yours. So my name is Robin Bremer, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.